Anyway, Benny Binion has a statue erected to him in Las Vegas, where he was a founding father of casinos. He also created the now famous World Series of Poker. His father was a horse trader, and he took little Benny along on his trips and introduced him to gambling. Benny introduced himself to losing. After a long run of chasing the next big score and being chased by bookies and others he owed money to, Benny had a breakthrough. Stop here for a second. You're probably not a desperate, degenerate gambler, but that shiny object syndrome I spoke of is like this, chasing the big score, looking for magic, when real achievement is always based on implementation of sound fundamentals. Benny's breakthrough was the realization that he was on the wrong side of the equation. I call it being on the wrong side of the cash register. He reasoned, why shouldn't I be the guy everybody hands their money over to instead of the guy handing over the money? For Benny, this was a game changer. He became a bookie. And when he discovered he had an arch competitor, Dirty Ben, claiming his Dallas, Texas territory, on September 12, 1936, Benny Binion emptied all but one round of his Colt 45 into that competitor's chest, then turned the 45 on himself and put the last bullet through his own shoulder so he could claim self-defense. It worked. Benny became king of the gambling rackets in Dallas, then took his ill-gotten gains to Vegas at its very start, established one of the most famous casinos, and later, the famed World Series of Poker. Let's talk about your...